Hello friends, so I hope you have read the question. Question is quite simple, but it is not that easy if you don't know the concept. So we have a paper, say A, B, C, D. We have to pick one vertex of the paper and we have to put that vertex into diagonally opposite vertex. Then we have one crease. Crease is nothing but line. And we have to find the length of that crease. Okay. So say this complete length is L and the paper is D unit wide. We pick D and put it to B. We pick D and put it to B. Then we will get a line here. And this line is nothing but the crease. And we have to find the length of crease. If we join this and parallel to AB and DC. So we can say this figure say O, P, Q, R is nothing but a rectangle. And we have to find the diagonal of rectangle. If this one is D, this should be D. If we get the length of OR or PQ, so we can find the length of diagonal PR which is nothing but crease and how do we find the length? So the direct formula of OR is nothing but D square by L. This one is D, this one is D, this one is D square by L. So we can find the length of crease RP with the help of Pythagoras theorem. According to our question length is nothing but 9 unit and width is 6. So this length is nothing but 6 square by 9 that is 4. So OR is 4. OP is nothing but 6, so this is nothing but 4 square plus 6 square that is 36 plus this one is nothing but under root 52 and this one is 2 root 13. So length of crease is 2 root 13 and this is our direct formula. What is the formula is you have width is D, you pick D to B. So this length is nothing but D square by L where D is the smaller than L, that's why it's width. D is smaller than L, that's why it's width. So this length is nothing but d square by l. This one is d. By the Pythagoras, we can find the length of crease. And this is our direct formula and our answer is 2 root 13. I hope this one is clear. I would suggest whenever you watch a concept video and you get some shortcut and concept and logic, please note it down in your notebook. You can download the video, but I would suggest get a notebook. Name it Maths or Maths by MEA. Note down all the concepts from the concept video and revise in a fortnightly or monthly basis okay so now it's time to learn the logic how i am getting d square by l okay now check the logic to check the logic you should know how we are creating the crease okay this is paper say this one is our paper we call it a b c d i pick point d and put it on b so we can say our vertex d comes here our vertex D comes here and vertex C is here. So I make a triangle that is nothing but like this. This is our triangle which is extra from our initial figure and we name it this one is nothing but C this one is D and this point we are getting a bend at this point say this point is P we are getting a bend this point is say R where we are getting a bend on this line. I hope this one is clear. Now, and if we say we open the paper, we are getting crease along PR line and we have to find the length of PR. Okay. Now, if we fold paper B to D, this one is B, this one is A. So, we can say this one is a BA line, this one is the bend and this one is B, this one is BA line. And we can draw a straight line like this. Name it Q, name it R, that is say S. Now you have to understand one thing. Point D comes here, point B comes here. That length is nothing but AB. Our length was this one D. This complete length was L. If DC is D, so we can say AB is D. So this complete length BC, this length is not the BC, this length is d to c our d point comes here so this length become d to c and this is nothing but d so we can say this length is d what about this length this length is ab ab is d so this becomes d we have right angle triangle 90 degree we have right angle triangle 90 degree because at c d a and b all angles are 90 degree and we can say by similarity we have 90 degree 
all the length that is PC is equal to we can say PC is equal to PC this one is PC this one is PC here AR is equal to AR and by similarity we can say all length are nothing but X we can prove that all triangles are congruent these two triangles are congruent so all length are same so I took this length is nothing but X this length is nothing but D so Pythagoras we can say PB in a triangle PBC in this triangle PBC this one is base this one is perpendicular so our hypotenuse is nothing but base square plus perpendicular square that is PB so this one is our length if we add PB that is PB plus PC that is PC we will get nothing but BC I am again repeating PC plus PB is nothing but BC and we have PB is what x square plus d square what is pc is nothing but x and what is the bc is our old length so we can say under root of x plus d square is nothing but l minus x is squaring both the side that is x square plus d square a is l square minus plus x square minus 2 lx x square x square cancel out so our 2 lx becomes l square minus d square so our x becomes l square minus d square upon 2l this is our x from all these pythagoras and similarity and congruency we need to find qr because we know this one is d we need to find qr if this one is x this one is also x and we know by similarity this one was also x complete length is l this one is x and x so we can say this smaller length is l minus 2x that is x and x x x all are the congruent so we can say x x complete is the l l minus 2x and we have x is l square minus d square upon 2l put x here that is l square minus d square upon x by solving this we will get this one is nothing but d square by l so uh, this one is nothing but d square by l this one is d square by l this one is d so we can find the length of crease i hope this one clear so your learning from this concept video is if you are getting a question on crease the required perpendicular length for the crease is nothing but d square by l where d is smaller than l and the base is d we have to use the pythagoras theorem to get the hypotenuse which is nothing but the length of crease okay i hope this one is clear to you but you have any doubt right now i would suggest please divide the video check all the concepts one by one and make a note but still if you get any problem after revising the video i would suggest ping me either on this youtube video thread or on facebook okay i hope this one is clear to you now thank you and happy learning